As an economist, uh, I've long been in favor of getting countries to deal with their massive imbalances, which have led to uh, basically one crisis every three years since the 1980s. And specifically, that means that countries that save too much need to plow their savings back into supporting their domestic economy. A classic example of that is China. And countries that save too little uh, need to start saving again and live within their means. And a classic example of that is the United States. An unbalanced world uh, is a world that is ripe for crisis. There are many imbalances uh, in, in the world today. The two largest uh, are the, um, uh, the surplus saving of China and the deficit saving of the United States. But uh, you know, countries like uh, Japan uh, and Germany, the oil producers, uh, they also save too much and they need to uh, plow back their saving into supporting internal uh, private consumption. And of course, the deficit savers in the south of Europe, notably uh, Spain, uh, Greece, Portugal, and Italy uh, need to uh, uh, pull back their domestic spending uh, and start to rebuild their saving to get out of the crises uh, they're in. We've harbored the mistaken belief, in my opinion, that uh, uh, unbalanced uh, uh, growth is sustainable growth. And I think the crises of the last few decades, especially the last uh, few years, I uh, have drawn that uh, complacency into serious question.